So in today's video, I'm going to be shopping my closet. I picked four looks from two of my favorite influencers that I follow because I love their chic, classic, and edgy style, which kind of fits into my personal style. And then also, like I've mentioned in other videos, when you're looking to get inspiration for your personal style, it can be really helpful to find someone with similar body shape and similar coloring to you. So both of these women that I've picked are similar to my age, they're similar in my coloring, similar to my body type, and similar to my style. I'm gonna show you four of my favorite looks from them and how I've created outfits with what I have in my closet based on that inspiration. This first picture, this is Erica Hoida, and I'm not sure if that's how you say her last name, but she is a San Diego influencer or stylist turned influencer, and I just love her chic and classic style. So in this first look, she's wearing just a simple white elevated tee, a black blazer, a black leather mini skirt, some black sandals, and then she's kind of put her hair up and put on some big earrings and then finish this look with a bag. So I definitely have an elevated white tee that I'm gonna use. And I don't have a black leather mini skirt, but I do have this black leather pencil skirt that I think will definitely work. And then I definitely have a black blazer because it is one of my capsule wardrobe essentials. And then in terms of her shoes, you can definitely go with a, more of a flat sandal like these, or I might even try it with my black heeled sandals in case I wanna just make it a little bit more of a date night look or an evening look. And for the earrings, I do have these from Lanier that I love, these silver ones. They're not as big as hers, but that's okay. That's also, this is kind of more my style. So I'm gonna add these silver hoop earrings to this look. And then for the bag, I'm going to finish it off with my black Gucci bag. So you'll see, I also decided to put my hair up for this look and I've done the half tuck here like she has. And even though my skirt is longer than hers, I think it really works. I first styled this with my black flat sandals and I'm wearing the blazer more like a cape kind of over my shoulders, I'm not fully wearing it. And then when I simply switch out my shoes to my heeled sandals, you'll see it just creates, again, just it makes a different outfit. It goes from something being really chic and stylish and edgy to something more evening and date night ready. So when you're using photos for inspiration to create outfits from your closet, you don't have to have the exact same pieces. The inspiration is to give you ideas with what you already have in your closet. And here in this next look, this is also Erica Hoida. I love how she mixes basic staple capsule wardrobe pieces like this white tank with some more kind of like edgy pieces. So the way I'm gonna create this in my closet, let's see, I definitely have an elevated white tank. Um, hers is more fitted than mine, but that's okay. This is my version. And I don't have oversized denim like she does, but I do have my favorite jeans here that are a slim straight leg and they do have a little bit of a raw hem so I think that kind of can speak to her more kind of distressed jeans. And then I can't really tell if that's a blazer she has or a cardigan um, and I really don't have that color but I instead of a camel I'm going to use blush. So. I do have this blush cardigan, it's Quince cardigan that I love, and I think this can definitely work. And I might also want to try this same look with my blush leather jacket, because it's really just, she just has like a, a layer over her tank to make this look work. So even though it might be a blazer and I don't have that color, um, I might just want to do this blush, because that's kind of more my accent color. And in this look, she definitely, she's chosen to match either that blazer or cardigan with a pair of pumps. And I do have a pair of blush pumps that I'm gonna kind of put with this whole look. And then it looks like she has her crossbody bag. Um, I'm just gonna use my crossbody bag that I think will work with this outfit again, because it is blush. And then she's kind of finished the look with a pair of chic black sunglasses. So I have the white tank on with my jeans and I have done a full tuck of the white tank just to kind of see what that looks like because it does look like in this photo she has a full tuck. Now normally I would do a half tuck or a French tuck 
but I think it's again it's just fun to try new things and then I'm wearing it with my pink suede pumps my pink cashmere coins cardigan and also I'm going to add my Chloe crossbody bag and then finish this look with my black sunglasses so here it is with my blush leather jacket and I think again it's just it's just fun it's a cool look and I love how this is my version of her outfit and now here's the third look that I wanted to shop my closet to recreate. So this is another stylist turned influencer. Her name is Lucy Wims. And again, she's, I think she's exactly my age. And she also, again, has similar coloring, similar body shape, and similar style to me. So I thought this was a good look to try to recreate from my closet. So she has this base layer of, it looks like just a really simple white graphic tee. So I have something like that. Now, if you don't have a graphic tee or that's not your style, you can always just choose a simple white tee um, or another color tee that you like. And then she is wearing it with a camel blazer. I don't have a camel blazer, but I do have a white one that I think could work really chic and cool. And I've had this one for, I don't know, 10 years or something crazy like that. But I think that could work. Um, this is more ivory, but I personally love a uh, tone on tone. So I actually don't mind wearing white and ivory together. I think that could be really chic. Um, so those two pieces I think can work. And then it looks like she has either a black legging or a jean. And I want to use my kind of faux leather black leggings. I think again, that could be just super fun and really interesting and a great way to bring some of that edginess into this look. And she's also wearing it with her either tall or over the knee black leather boots. And I do have a pair of my Stuart Wiseman black leather over the knee boots that again, I think could work really, really well with this. And it looks like she's holding just a chic black leather bag. So I'll probably just use my black Saint Laurent bag to go with this look. And then of course, I'm gonna add my chic black sunglasses to this look. And she is wearing some cool earrings. And again, I think I'm gonna wear my Lanier silver hoops to kind of bring this whole look together. And then she is wearing a kind of a cool baseball hat here. And I recently just got one. Um, I never thought I would actually wear one, but I just kind of love it now. It's a great alternative to wearing my straw hat because I end up wearing my straw hat all the time. I'm not really sure how this is gonna look, um, but I might try it and see what you think. So here is this full look and I've done that half tuck just like she has here, that messy half tuck. I did try it with the hat, the trucker hat, but for me and my style, it just didn't really work. That's totally okay. So that's just some something you might find out. You might try something that is in one of your inspiration photos, but then it might not feel like you. I have left the blazer sleeves down, which normally I do tend to roll them up, but I kind of like that variation. And again, it just gives me something like a new way to look at my blazer that I've had for so many years. And I'm wearing my over the knee boots. And then I've added my chic sunglasses and my black crossbody bag. And again, I just think it's such a fun and easy way to create new looks from your outfits. I've never actually worn these all together before. So I just love kind of, again, just getting that inspiration from how somebody else styles their pieces and translating it into what I have in my closet. And here's another look from Erica Hoida, and this is more of a date night, night out look. I'm actually gonna start with this black top I have now. This is a sweater knit, it's from Quince, and it's fitted, and this is probably for a black item that's sleeveless in my closet, a top. This is probably the one I have that has the lowest neckline. So I'm gonna style this top with my black leather pencil skirt once again. And again, I don't have the, she kind of, hers is camel, and then she has her camel leather jacket. I have a my blush leather jacket, so I'm going to style this look with my blush leather jacket. And then I do have where she actually matches, it looks like her shoes are also kind of that camel leather, that dark camel, and it matches her skirt and her jacket. I actually have a blush pair of heeled sandals that I think would work. So I'm gonna style this look with these. And then I'm also gonna wear my, Gucci bag once again for this look. 
And it looks like she has a, like a really interesting necklace on for this look. I don't have a big statement long necklace. So instead, since I don't really have a long statement necklace, I'm gonna wear my gold lariat necklace. And here is this full look. So my sweater tank is ribbed, so it has this cool knit texture. And then on the bottom, because it's the leather skirt, the leather has its own texture as well. It's a nice way to add dimension to your look. It looks like she did a full tuck with her top. I didn't need to do that because my knit tank hits right at the waistline of my leather skirt and it gives that same kind of feel as her look. So again, I didn't have these exact pieces that she had or the same colors, but I found what I had in my closet and I used this photo as inspiration to put together a look that I may not have thought about putting together before. So using photos of outfits that you love is a great way to just think about the clothes in your closet a bit differently. And it's a fun way to shop your closet. If you wanna love your style and have a closet full of clothes you're excited to wake up to, if you wanna know the pieces that you're missing to have a foundation in your closet and to learn how to shop better and also how to style the things you already own, I'm offering a five-part pre-recorded course called Love Your Style, and you can go through this in your own time. There's also six amazing bonuses to go with this offer, and you could click on the link up above or down in the description box to learn more about this course and how it can help you love your style. For more outfit ideas and inspiration, go ahead and watch this playlist next. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. For new videos every Thursday, click that subscribe button. Have a great week and I will see you soon.